Hey, what's up? We're uh, gonna start another day of Greece. Uh, we're gonna do shaking at the high school hop, so that's the vocals and then the choreo right before lunch. And we're gonna go back after lunch and we're gonna tackle a big scene that has to do with the bleachers right before we head to the dance. And then that's all she wrote for the day. So hopefully it's gonna be an easy day. Only two things to really focus on, which is nice. And then we'll get through it, then get some food, then head to the gym. I'll see you at lunch. How's it going? So we have an hour lunch break, so we're gonna throw something quickly together. We have an Evol Sriracha Burrito from Target. And then I mixed in some pre-cut chicken strips. These are the Purdue chicken strips. Good source of protein, low fat, no carbs. Also some tri-colored fajita vegetables, mainly just onions and bell peppers, different colors. And some fat-free cheddar cheese and some Herdez salsa verde. This is gonna be around six, 700 calories, lots of carbs, lots of protein. Gonna power me through that last four hours of rehearsal. And, uh, and then I'll catch you later. We're gonna hit the gym, do some legs. I know, oh my God, he's doing legs. After that, we'll see where the night takes us. Rachel is currently at a wedding, so I am a bachelor this weekend, so I'll probably film a lot more than usual. And maybe we'll do some fun things. Sounds good, see you later. So uh, they cleaned our room while I was away, so it's really nice. Now, I ran out of trash bags, so I'm gonna have to figure out something there. But everything else looks really nice, and I was actually gonna spend most of the weekend cleaning. Uh, so surprise, Rachel, uh, I did it all myself. Looks great, huh? Ah. Okay, so we're gonna head to the mall and we're on a secret mission and you'll find out more about that. But in the meantime, I'm looking to pick up maybe a t-shirt or two, something casual but not undershirty. Maybe pick up food on the way out or we might be responsible and use our groceries. But the cat is away so the mice will play. Since I'm having my bachelor weekend start, I might go get some Chipotle because it's nearby or maybe something else a little interesting. And I'll take you along for the ride for all this mall trip stuff, and then if I get back in time, try to hit some legs at the gym. I know that doesn't sound like that's gonna happen, but I'm gonna really try to make it happen. That's about it, so, see you later. All right, so it's pretty loud in here, but as you can tell, I'm at the mall. I just went into Lululemon. I had two pairs of pants that I had bought, I think at an outlet. They were really messed up. They were had killing, Zipper issues, and which is really weird, um, unlike Lululemon stuff. So the great thing about Lululemon is they let me bring back the pants and gave me two new pairs. And these pants are like a year or two old. So what other company does that? And that's why we invest in Lululemon, because we wear it all the time. Between being a dancer and being in the gym all the time, it's pretty much all I want to be in. And unless I have to dress up for something, I'm going to be pretty much in Lululemon. So, Pretty nice, I have two new pairs of pants. I also was successful in my secret mission. It's a little hint. So she's gonna find that out as soon as she gets home. I hope that she is super surprised and I'm very excited to get this for her. Other than that, I'm gonna walk around, maybe get a t-shirt or two, see what H&M has to offer. They usually have pretty good deals. We just finished up the mall. We got two t-shirts from H&M. I think they'll do nicely, they're very basic, but I'm gonna try them on, see how they are, and if I hate them, I'll take them back. Uh, we have 30 minutes before Chipotle closes. Can we do it? We can. So it's about a 10 minute walk, and I probably need the cardio because I'm definitely gonna go over my macros today. But it's all good. I'm still letting my shoulder recover a little bit from that push workout. So I don't know if I'm gonna get hit to hit the gym because the gym closes at 10.45. But you know what? Sometimes things take precedent and running these errands was definitely needed so I'm a little out of breath obviously I need more cardio in my life all right checking in again so they ran out of cheese which in my case is probably not such a bad thing because my fat macros are probably non-existent uh, I did get double steak though for free which is always A+. Plus. Uh, totally closes in like five minutes, so I'm trying to eat this as fast as possible. Uh, and then I'm gonna call an Uber and head back and get ready for bed. I have to be in at 9.30 tomorrow, so it's gonna be a pretty early morning. But 
everything was a successful mission. All right, guys, we're back from rehearsal. We have 45 minutes to make a quick stir fry. So I'm gonna flip this around and show you what I'm making. This is gonna be the main part of the stir fry. This is a Tyson grilled and ready chicken strip. It's already cooked, so I'm just gonna throw that in the skillet. We're adding a Green Giant Garden Vegetable Medley. It has potatoes, snap peas, and, and peppers. We have some Blue Diamond Almond Bold Sriracha. That is gonna add the crunch factor. I'm gonna use half of this bag of Seeds of Change Brown and Red Rice. It also has chia and kale. I got this from Costco. It's a little higher calorie, but has a little bit of spice to it, and also uh, has some micronutrients as well. And then most importantly are my sauces. I'm gonna flavor it with some low sodium soy sauce, some sriracha, and a little bit of this orange sauce from Panda Express. I'm not gonna use too much of this, guys, because it really adds up. Looks like my snap peas are ready. I'm gonna throw everything in the skillet. The key is, if you have an ingredient that tastes really good, it's probably bad for you. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna measure it. Now, stuff like soy sauce and sriracha has very minimal amount of calories. With this orange sauce, of course I want the whole bottle, but I can't use the whole bottle, so I'm actually gonna weigh that out. All right, I decided to go with peanuts instead of almonds. You get a little bit more bang for your buck here, but again, you can go overboard with these. They're really good, so I'm gonna weigh them out. All right, so we're at zero grams here. As you can see, I get about 28 grams for 150 calories. That's about 40 pieces. However, all these peanuts are obviously not the same size, so we're actually gonna weigh them out. So I'm gonna take a handful here, and you can, you can see we're at 13 grams. Let's aim for half a serving of this. There we go. Always better to be under, right? So 19 grams, it's almost half of 40. All right, so I added the vegetables in. The reason I did that last is because I had to heat them up in the microwave. So the key is that you don't want to cook those vegetables too long because they're already not super fresh because they were frozen when we got them. And then once you cook them, the more you cook them down, the less nutrients they have. So we added them last because we we're just gonna add them to the hot food already. So we're just gonna let this simmer for a little bit, make sure it's all hot. Nothing worse than having like a random cold bite of food amongst other hot stuff. It's just a weird sensation. So we're gonna cook all this, make sure the flavors get ingrained in every bite, and then we're gonna enjoy. All right, and through the power of YouTube, we have a fully cooked meal. That took literally less than 10 minutes, guys. So it can be done. This is a lot of food. It's gonna keep me full for the rest of rehearsal. I hit a good amount of protein, a good amount of healthy carbs, and a good amount of healthy fats, too. So anyone can do it, even me. All right, taste test. Let's get a little bit of everything on a bite. Hey, your mother always said, blow on your food. Mmm. Very tasty. Very tasty. Now, would it be nice to have some fresh herbs on this? Yeah. Would it be nice to have a little bit more crunch in those snap peas? Sure. But that would have taken me 40 minutes probably to cook some fresh ones and to get that meal together. I had 40 minutes to eat this whole thing. So, it could be done, guys. I'm gonna enjoy this, relax a little bit, and hit the last part of rehearsal, and then I'll catch you after. Later. All right, y'all, lunch was good, and now I'm going to fill up a water cup with Alphamine, which is a thermogenic slash caffeine supplement. It's 100 ca uh, milligrams per scoop of caffeine. That's just gonna help me power through this last little bit of rehearsal, and I'm also gonna throw some creatine in there so I remember to take it. So let's do about two scoops of this caffeine supplement, and we'll do a scoop of creatine. Throw the lids back on. Twist them, make sure they're not gonna fall and make a mess. So I just got back from the gym. I got in a push workout with my buddy Nick. We did a lot of chest press with the dumbbells. I went a little lighter today because my shoulder was getting a little trouble. But I did lots of volume, 12 to 15 reps of 
65 in each hand. Moved on to a shoulder press on a machine, uh, loaded that up, did some triceps, hit both heads of that, and overall it was a good workout. Uh, probably was about an hour and 30 minutes, though we kind of shot the shit for a little while. So it was good to hang out with him, have a bachelor lift. <laughs> and now I'm gonna make food here, I'm gonna make fajitas tonight, and then see where the night takes us. I also have a little special treat for myself because it's been a long week. Oh yeah, there it is. My blue moon. Rachel, I promise I won't drink too much while you're gone, but I might have to have one. Or three. So here we have all the ingredients for our fajitas tonight. We have flat out tortillas as our carb source. Nine grams of protein, only one and a half grams of fat. Lots of fiber. We have our tri-colored peppers with onions. They come frozen, super quick, super easy to make. We have our boya black beans, another good high fiber carb source. We have our red onion, our tomato, of course fat free cheddar, salsa verde, and our pre-grilled and ready chicken strips. Super easy to make guys, just gonna throw all that together. That's gonna be dinner. High protein, high fiber, good for the end of the night. So the trick is to start with the frozen stuff first because it takes the longest to cook. So we're starting with the fire roasted peppers and onions. And we're gonna let that heat up and de-ice in the pan. And then we'll add all of our other stuff. And guys, another pro tip. When you want to de-thaw stuff, de-ice stuff, whatever you want to call it, don't just think that you can put it on the highest setting and just like cook it really quick. Because what'll happen is it'll burn on the outside and still stay frozen on the inside. So unfortunately you have to do the slow and steady method. You know, some things take time. All right, I know they say that a watch pot never boils, but it also never burns. So keep that in mind. All right, so you can probably hear we got the tunes going. We also bumped up the heat a little bit. Now I just told you, don't pump up the heat. But now that we've got it de-thawed, I'm trying to get a little char on the outside. So pro tip is make sure your skillet is not crowded so that all the sides of the vegetables are hitting the skillet. And you bump up the heat and we're gonna get a char. It's gonna sweeten up the vegetables a little bit. And then as soon as that happens, I'm gonna take them off the skillet and work on my other ingredients. Never crowd your skillet, guys. Look at that char starting to form. That's what we're going for. All right, that red onion is sizzling. This doesn't take very long. I'm not gonna burn it because then it gets a bitter taste. So I'm gonna give this about 20 more seconds and then I'm gonna pop that in with our fire roasted peppers. And then we'll get the chicken and beans in there and then we're almost about ready. Squash is still working in the oven. And then I'm gonna toast some tortilla and we'll be all set. So freaking hungry. We had the chicken sizzling in there. I added a little bit of taco seasoning just to give a little Mexican feel to it. I'm gonna throw the beans in a second. All right, we transferred our chicken out and we threw the squash back in the skillet. I'm gonna try and brown this a little bit. So again, we have that high heat life. I'm just gonna get a little char on that. I also put the flat outs in the oven to crisp up just a little bit to warm them up. And then we should be all set. I have no idea what I'm listening to right now. Thank you, Spotify. All right, here's how this is gonna work. I'm gonna use these flat outs and I'm gonna put this giant bowl of stuff in them. Garnish it with some tomato and some salsa and some fat-free cheddar cheese and I'm gonna enjoy. Hey, what's up guys? It is Rachel and my anniversary. It is the 5th of March, and she's flying home tonight, so we gotta do some exciting things, clean up a little bit, get dinner ready, do her laundry, and also set up the gift, the most important thing for tonight. So we're gonna do all of that today and at the same time, have a relaxing Sunday. Hi, it could be done, right? So, gonna get started, drink my coffee down, eat a little something, and then we're off. I'll take you along for the ride. All right. 
So I took one of these big water jugs, cut a hole in it. This is gonna be our vase. Looks great, right? Some water in this so that it balances. Out, 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 thorns, thorns, thorns. All right. Now, one tip is, trying to get things without thorns. And as you can see, job well done, successful. Not the classiest thing. Maybe I'll ride on this. If I had a Sharpie, I'd ride on it. Well, we'll see what I do. Looks pretty terrible. But if we had a base, they would look beautiful. So, the game plan is we're going to do her laundry. Make sure that that's all nice and ready for next week so she doesn't have to worry about that because I know she's going to be really tired when she gets off that plane. We're going to get the dinner working. I think she gets off at about 8.30, 9 o'clock. So she might be here 9.30. Got to look that up. Make sure the timing's all right. Other than that, I'm going to clean up and maybe play some games with my boy Nick for a while. And that's all she wrote. So wish me luck with all this. All right, y'all. What, what do you think? Do you like my made up vase? I got the chicken cooking. We have some zucchini there. The bird lands in 30 minutes. Let's do this. Do? They love them. They're gonna put them in right now. I love 